the excursion of disclosure frequently leads us to strange domains, and it's in those startling discoveries where the wizardry of science genuinely lies. This is precisely the way in which groups like NASA work. They take on the inconceivable, making notable accomplishments that reclassify how we might interpret the universe. For a really long time, individuals have looked up at the night sky, contemplating whether we are alone in the tremendous territory of space. Today, we stand near the precarious edge of disclosures that will probably outperform anything we've ever imagined. The inconceivable discoveries we are going to reveal will flabbergast us, as well as shift our perspective on life, the universe, and everything inside it. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is a demonstration of human creativity and diligence. The head of NASA recently announced that the telescope, our new eye into the universe, has captured a momentous picture. This photo uncovers a mystery concealed inside the farthest reaches of our infinite neighborhood. Life on a world known as Proxima b, whenever confirmed, this discovery could change all that we know about life in the universe, offering us a completely new understanding of what lies beyond our little blue planet. This revelation isn't just about the picture or Proxima itself. It's about the capabilities of the JWST, a wonder of modern science that gives us insights into the universe more than ever. Because of its unique positioning in space and cutting-edge technology, the telescope offers perspectives on far-off worlds, planets, and stars in extraordinary detail. It's not an exaggeration to say that the JWST will change our perspective on the universe and, likewise, our place within it. The JWST's 6.5-meter-wide primary mirror is one of its most noteworthy features, tremendously surpassing the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been a fundamental tool for space research over the past few decades. With a mirror that is over twice as large, the JWST can detect even the faintest sources of light from the farthest corners of the universe. This enhanced sensitivity allows researchers to study enormous objects that have long been beyond the reach of even our most advanced telescopes. For years, scientists have theorized about what exists in the vast regions of space that standard telescopes can't explore. Thanks to the JWST's large mirror and advanced sensors, we can now capture details that were once entirely hypothetical. The telescope is equipped with state-of-the-art instruments designed to detect a wide range of light frequencies. One of these is the Near-Infrared Camera NIR Cam, which is capable of capturing images in the near-infrared part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Near-infrared light has a unique ability to penetrate clouds of cosmic dust that would otherwise block our view. This means that researchers can peer further into space than ever before, studying the formation of stars and galaxies in their earliest stages. NERCOM's high-resolution imaging capabilities give scientists the opportunity to observe cosmic nurseries, where stars are born, and witness the astronomical processes that give rise to worlds. Such observations help us understand how galaxies form, evolve, and interact with one another over billions of years. Another historic instrument on board the JWST is the Near Infrared Spectrograph, NIRSpec, which provides a completely new way of studying celestial objects. Rather than capturing images, NIRSpec analyzes the light emitted by stars and galaxies, breaking it down into its component colors or spectra. This process, known as spectroscopy, reveals a wealth of information about the chemical composition, temperature, and motion of these objects. By analyzing the light spectra from stars and galaxies, researchers can determine what elements are present in these celestial bodies, as well as how they interact with their surroundings. Spectroscopy is like reading the fingerprints of the universe. Each chemical element has a unique signature, leaving specific absorption and emission lines in the light it produces. By examining these spectral lines, researchers can deduce what stars and galaxies are made of, how they move through space, and even how they evolve over time. This method is particularly useful for studying distant galaxies, especially those with high redshifts, galaxies whose light has traveled billions of years to reach us. By examining these ancient galaxies, scientists can glimpse the universe as it was in its early days, providing clues about how galaxies have changed throughout cosmic history. In addition to NIRCAM and NIRSpec, the JWST also features the mid-infrared instrument MIRI, which is designed to study the mid-infrared part of the electromagnetic spectrum, 
MIRI allows astronomers to observe a wide range of cosmic phenomena, from the formation of stars to the detection of atmospheres on distant planets. One of MIRI's primary missions is to peer through the thick dust clouds that obscure star-forming regions and examine the processes that drive star and planet formation. Infrared light can penetrate these dust clouds, allowing MIRI to capture detailed images and spectra of regions that would otherwise be hidden. In this way, MIRI provides crucial insights into the conditions that lead to the formation of stars and planets. It also plays a key role in the study of exoplanets, planets that exist outside our solar system. MIRI is capable of detecting the faint thermal signatures of exoplanet atmospheres, which is crucial for determining their composition, climate patterns, and potential habitability. One of the most exciting aspects of MIRI's capabilities is its ability to detect biomarkers in exoplanetary atmospheres. Biomarkers are chemical signs that could indicate the presence of life. By analyzing the light passing through a planet's atmosphere, MIRI can search for signs of water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and other gases that are essential for life as we know it. These observations are a key part of the search for habitable worlds and, ultimately, the search for extraterrestrial life. The JWST doesn't just capture images and spectra. It also plays a crucial role in atmospheric analysis. Spectroscopy is essential for this work, as it allows researchers to study the light absorbed and emitted by an exoplanet's atmosphere as the planet passes in front of its parent star, a phenomenon known as a transit. The JWST can observe the starlight passing through the planet's atmosphere. By analyzing this light, scientists can determine the atmospheric composition of the exoplanet and assess its potential to support life. The JWST's instruments are perfectly suited for this task. An IRCAM excels at detecting objects in the near-infrared range, while MIRI specializes in the mid-infrared range. Together, these instruments cover a wide range of light providing comprehensive data on a planet's atmospheric composition. This information is especially valuable during transit events, as the starlight passing through the planet's atmosphere contains crucial clues about its chemical makeup. As the starlight interacts with molecules in the atmosphere, it leaves behind distinct fingerprints in the light spectrum. The JWST's spectroscopic instruments then analyze this light to determine which chemicals are present. Each molecule has a unique spectral signature, allowing scientists to identify the components and compounds in a planet's atmosphere with astonishing accuracy. This data provides a window into the planet's environment and helps researchers determine whether the world in question could be habitable. Researchers also use a technique called comparative spectroscopy, which involves studying different exoplanets with similar properties to identify patterns and anomalies in their spectra. By comparing the spectral data from various planets, Scientists can gain a broader understanding of what makes a planet habitable and what might distinguish a living world from a lifeless one. This method of comparison is especially useful when studying exoplanets with similar sizes, masses, and distances from their parent stars. By analyzing the spectra of these worlds, scientists can identify trends in the chemical composition of their atmospheres. These patterns could reveal the presence of key life-supporting molecules or, conversely, highlight the absence of conditions necessary for life. In the case of Proxima b, the planet in question orbits the star Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf located just 4.24 light-years from Earth. Discovered in 2016, Proxima b quickly captured the imagination of scientists and the public alike due to its proximity to Earth and its location in the habitable zone of its parent star. The habitable zone, often referred to as the Goldilocks zone, is the region around a star where conditions are just right for liquid water to exist, a fundamental ingredient for life as we know it. Proxima b's location in the habitable zone has led to much speculation about its potential to support life. However, many factors influence a planet's habitability beyond its position relative to its star. The planet's atmosphere, water supply, temperature, and geological activity all play critical roles in determining whether life could thrive there. For instance, scientists are particularly interested in understanding Proxima b's climate. The planet is tidally locked, meaning one side always faces its star, while the other side remains in perpetual darkness. This could lead to extreme temperature variations between the two hemispheres, making it difficult for life to survive. However, 
If Proxima b has a sufficiently thick atmosphere, it could help redistribute heat across the planet's surface, creating more stable conditions. Researchers are also eager to determine whether Proxima b has liquid water, as the presence of water would greatly increase its chances of being habitable. Scientists hope that future observations by the JWST could provide critical insights into Proxima b's atmosphere, water content, and overall habitability. The discovery of life on Proxima b, or any other exoplanet, would be a monumental achievement for humanity. It would not only confirm that we are not alone in the universe, but also suggest that life may be widespread across the cosmos. Such a discovery would revolutionize our understanding of science, evolution, and the conditions necessary for life to emerge and thrive. We're on the brink of finding things we never imagined. Isn't that exactly how this team works? They make the unimaginable possible. For centuries, humans have wondered whether we are alone in the universe. Now, we are on the verge of uncovering astonishing secrets, just as this team always does, turning the impossible into reality. We've looked at the stars, envisioned far-off worlds, and speculated about the possibility of life on planets far from our little blue world. Finally, the moment has arrived. The head of NASA recently revealed that the James Webb Space Telescope has captured an extraordinary image. Hold on to it, life has been found on a distant planet called Proxima b. This discovery changes everything. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is a fantastic scientific tool that is transforming how we view the universe. Thanks to its position in space and cutting-edge technology, it offers researchers a perspective unlike any before, enabling them to study worlds, planets, and stars in ways that were once impossible. While this might seem like poetic overstatement, the JWST has the technology to back up these claims. One of its most impressive features is its 6.5-meter primary mirror, nearly twice the size of the Hubble Space Telescope's mirror. For three decades, Hubble has been instrumental in space research, but the JWST's larger mirror allows it to detect faint light from the farthest reaches of the universe, something researchers couldn't do before. Where past telescopes struggled, the JWST can now bring those distant details into focus. In addition to its large mirror, the JWST boasts cutting-edge instruments that detect various frequencies of light. Its near-infrared camera, NIR cam, is a powerful tool that captures images in the near-infrared part of the spectrum. Near-infrared light penetrates cosmic dust clouds that block visible light, allowing us to peer further into the universe. The camera's high-resolution imaging powers give scientists a unique opportunity to study how stars and planets form. Another key instrument is the Near-Infrared Spectrograph, NIRSpec, which helps study stars and galaxies by breaking down the light they emit into different frequencies. This technique, called spectroscopy, reveals vital information about an object's chemical composition, location, temperature, and movement. By analyzing the light spectra from stars and galaxies, scientists can determine what elements are present and how they interact with their surroundings. The JWST's mid-infrared instrument MIRI is designed to study the mid-infrared part of the electromagnetic spectrum. MIRI excels at studying star-forming regions, cutting through thick cosmic dust to reveal the processes that create stars and planets. It can also detect and analyze exoplanet atmospheres, making it crucial in the search for life. By examining the faint thermal signatures of these distant planets, MIRI provides valuable clues about their composition, climate conditions, and potential habitability. JWST's spectroscopy capabilities play a significant role in this quest for life. By studying the light passing through an exoplanet's atmosphere during transits, researchers can gather key information about its chemical makeup. This technique, combined with comparative spectroscopy, allows scientists to study exoplanets with similar characteristics and identify patterns that may indicate the presence of life-supporting compounds. With the JWST, we have the technology to study distant worlds in unprecedented detail. The future of space exploration and the search for life has never looked brighter.